enjoying some hip hop with us as we talk shit and work our way through the show. The final four MCs are Guru, Big Daddy Kane, Cannabis and Evidence. Let's get into the first one of the finals right now. It is Gangstar, full clip, number three seed. Uh, versus Iggy, Big Daddy Kane, rest in peace. Number four seed, let's do it right now. Big L, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Fresh out the gate again, time to raise the stakes again. Fat my plate again. Y'all cats know we always play to win. GNG to the stars, son. Haters took the shit too far, son. So that's all for you. I'm wiping out your whole team. Ow, splatter your dreams with lyrics to shatter your schemes. The badder you seem, the more lies you tell. The more lies you sound. Now by surprise, you fell into my death trap, right into my clutches. Stupid, you know the girl must bless every single mic he touches. I've suffered just so I can return harder. Wanna be the shit starter? Fuck around, make you a martyr. I'll make you famous. Turn around and make you nameless. Cause you never understood how vital to me this rap game is. Save it and hold that. You catch a hot one. Rhymes to chase a fake nigga down. Soon as I spot one clip. You wanna mess with this? Gangstar, one of the best yet. I'm nice like that. It's all good in this business of rap. Full clip. You wanna mess with this? Gangstar, one of the best yet. I'm nice like that. It's all good. So I suggest you take a rest. So if you stand in my way, I'ma have to spray. Learn that if you come against me, son, you're gonna have to pray. Since back in the day, I held the weight and kept my head up. They wanna see the guard catch a L, it's all a setup. I give no man a thing power over me. Why these niggas so jealous and looking sour over me? I'm bold G. I'm like impossible to stop. I'm like that nigga in the ring with you, impossible to drop. I'm like two magazines fully loaded to your one. Plus, I ain't gonna quit spitting till you're done. Plus, more than ever, I got my whole shit together. <laughs> Decade of hits that'll live forever. Catch a rep of my name, you're bound to fry. Know how many niggas and I know that's down to die. We never fail, and we ain't never been frail. You niggas talk crime, but you scared of jail. Full clip. Do you wanna mess with this? Gangstar, one of the best yet. I'm nice like that. It's all good in this business of rap. Full clip. Do you wanna mess with this? Gangstar, one of the best yet. I'm nice like that. So I suggest you take a rest Attacking like a slick Apache Lyrics are trigger happy Blowing back your wig piece Just for the way you're looking at me Cock back blow I hit you up right now I don't know why So many of y'all Want to be thugs anyhow Face the consequence Of your childish nonsense I can make your head explode Just by my lyrical content Get you in my scope And metaphorically snipe you I never liked you I gasp that ass And then ignite you The flamethrower Make your peeps afraid to know you How many times I told you Play your position small soldier My heart is colder Makes me want to resort to violence Stop beating me in the head, son, nah, I'm not buying it I'm ready to blast, ready to surpass and harass I'm ready to flip, yeah, and ready to dip with all the cash I hold my chrome steady with a tight grip So watch it on already, cause this one might hit Full clip, clip. Real Jizza vibe on that one Like <laughs> Jizza Andre mixed together There's a mass ace in there Mass ace in there, okay, yeah, I can see that I mean, I've been looking for clean hip hop to play at my food truck. I'll just fucking play Premiere Beats all day. There's got to be mad playlists on Spotify Premiere Beats. I'm sure there's fucking tons of beats. Jesus, that's good beats. Uh, makes everything sound great. Guru's got a real laid back flow, but he's still got anger in his voice. It's a very unique. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Presentation of emotion where it's confident, angry and vulnerable all in the same bundle, uh, which is hard to do. It's hard to be that complex emotionally when you're expressing yourself. Like It's a very complicated, intelligent way of conveying information that you have inside your brain mm -hmm. to be that developed and cover that many grounds of conception. Uh, it's really cool. He's a really good rapper. He's re it's a really good track. Um, it's a really good beat. Uh, it's a really well put together track. I'm going to give that a, uh, 9.2 and, uh, yeah, 
I'm I'm interested to see what Big Daddy Kane has to pay has to bring to the table because that is uh he he's he's my favorite of the night. Ignacio, what do you say? I feel like uh Guru and Lupe Fiasco are in the same kind of kind of side where they, they their pen game is dope as fuck. And and they can write a verse and and flip through the verse and and jump in and out of different cadences and they they could do all of that, but it just for some reason doesn't feel like it translates over to like the feeling of a battle. And mm-hmm. I feel I feel like as dope as Guru is, it's it's like it's like when you say like oh I want to hear my favorite MC take on some of these you know battle rappers out there. No, you don't. You know, because it's like two different worlds. Like the pain cannabis, game. Yeah. cannabis, fucking, what's his dumb fucking face? Whatever the fuck is. <laughs> fuck, fuck that. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, even and I, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this an eight. Uh, because I love Guru, I love Premiere, and I love it. outside of this setting. I probably would have given it a much higher grade, to be completely honest. But in this setting with the with the MC Olympics, yeah, that's where I'm at. LP, what do you say? I think it's a strong pick. I think um, it hits all the boxes um, as far as technicality, production, lyricism. You know, um, not not a lot not to like about this track for me. So I'm I'm gonna rate this fairly high. I'm gonna give this a nine. Nine. Press. What do you say? Mike's off. Mike. Mike. Yeah. So uh, DJ Premier and uh, Guru have kind of perfected this sound from like 88 to 94 and this is like 98 99 so this is like the culmination of that you know what i mean it's Mm -hmm. like this is this is the essential boom bap track in my Mm -hmm. opinion right um this is 9.75 all day song of the night song of the night chuck what are you saying uh so i am i'm a i'm a bit surprised that uh you didn't uh, pull anything off of jasmatas um uh, but, uh, mm, uh, i tried <laughs> man i really bet went back and forth between a lot of tracks i just i i couldn't i couldn't yeah. do anything besides this it uh i get it though um the uh but yeah like is uh this, this is a cool track um yeah you know pen game was nice the world player was nice the um, the, uh, you know, production was great. Um, delivery wise was, uh, I would, I would say, I think, I think, look, the way you were describing it, I would, I would describe that as, uh, kind of like a, like a, a calm and calculating. Mm. Um, yeah. Psychopath shit. <laughs> <laughs> It, it could be it could be um, <laughs> but uh but yeah this was, uh, this was a dope track um i think uh i didn't uh i don't think i vibed with the beat as much um the uh but um i think overall i'm gonna give this a an eight eight 8.8 8. next song is from big daddy kane it's called rest in peace let's do it It's going to be a sad song. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today for the Zafa again. That guy sounds th- kind of th- funny. I think it's going to be a battle track. It was like, a great microphone in his days. Like, may day. you rest in peace. Right. <laughs> the evening while he was in the studio, it was struck by the lyrical force of the Big Daddy King. So ashes to ashes and dust to dust. May yeah. Microphone, microphone rest in peace. peace. May the microphone. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Love it already. Okay. That's awesome. Love it. I, li- I like this beat better than the last one already. Yeah, me too. Knock, knock, yes, who, yes, oh, the book of the beat, the ugly of the eye, the jig of the G is coming through. Yes, I'm the one with clout, they're all talking about. To be great, I have to play for like Sava Kraut. The microphone assassinator, and furthermore, I murder the blues guitar. I believe that I murder more. 
So if you ask to give the cane a go, you better treat me like drugs and just say no. Because I utilize my skills to brutalize. And in a battle, man, you should see what I do to guys. Whenever the mic's mine, I rock a hype bomb. And come off like dirty panties at night time. Cause any mic that I caress, I finesse with zest and just best, best <laughs> yet to progress. King Asiatic, no other rapper stands to this. You couldn't be a king if you played hockey in Los Angeles. <laughs> I get spit A, top grid A, got him in A. Point <coughs> blank, the kid's straight A. Cause when it comes to R-A-P-P-I-N, <laughs> I got it locked up like a bullpen. Is that a tough one? Rappers, I get them and hit them and slit them and split them and rid them or quit them. When I get rid them, you can tell that I did them. I take them and shake them and bake them and ache them and break them and break them. You can't awake them from the comatose way I make them. Because when you're messing with me, you know what? You can swallow a live grenade and you still won't blow up. Picking up the microphone, you shouldn't dare. It's like being on a stairmaster, climbing and going nowhere. You're perpetrating like you're ready and able, but couldn't rock a show if the stage was a cradle. Your rhymes are old as an artifact, and you don't want a part of that. So don't even start it, Black. Anyone ripping, I show them how I'm living. And give them some of that treatment like my man Michael Bivens. I smack them up, flip them, and then shove them down. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I don't be fucking around. To rip this microphone like this today. Since 87, I came a long, long way to headlining all the way from supporting. And I know you've been watching me, Norton. Through my whole rap career, a lot of you <laughs> rappers sat there and listen. A oh, lot of you rappers tough. sat there and wishing. But you couldn't see the king with x ray vision. And just because you didn't see my crew for a few, a lot of people thought the wolf pack was through. But if you think the cane is through, scrap or break up, I tell you, like Marvin Gaye, wake up, wake up, wake up. Put it the rest as best of best. Because the cane is breaking rappers like the IR press. And consider this microphone the deceased. Now may it rest in peace. May you rest in peace. May you rest in peace. May you, may you, may you, may you. May Sounds like something I thought I would get from Ice Cube. May you rest yeah. Ah. <laughs> it sounds like a West Coast track to me. That's just cool. It does. May you rest in peace. If this meaning doesn't manifest, put it to rest. Put it to rest. I mean, the idea of putting a microphone down to rest, I'd say, lies more in East Coast consciousness rap, personally. But I didn't like that tune. I thought it was kind of boring. I thought it was kind of vanilla, as Presto says. Didn't that same aggression? I think it was the beat. I think the beat was too new school for me. I think it was a little too advanced. Like, the that high end was a little complicated for me to enjoy. I would have liked, you know... I don't know. I just... The, the last... Big Daddy Kane's song. What was it, Count? What was it called in uh, the first round? Um, what was the first round was Big Daddy Kane? Oh, Rap the King. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. dope. That 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 took you to another level. Uh, it didn't quite grab me, but I'm also still like, I'm kind of more critical of this song, and it's simple. It's he's he's, he's ripping the mic. He's he's savage bars. He's fucking tough bars, flex bars the whole way through. I get that, but. I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, Guru made me have, like, a deep philosophical discussion within my brain about, like, what he's trying to present, which emotion he's trying to present. It was complicated. It was much more developed. It was much more deep. <sighs> good tunes, though. Both good tunes. I'm going to get Big Daddy Kane 8.8, but I'm going to go with Guru. Ignacio, what do you say? Well, I mean, again, it's a battle, right? It's a battle, and uh, I just thought I'd bring 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 it like you know like chuck said yeah there's there's some inference there you know of course you know like i said it's a battle you you want to you want to bring in the whole element of that that vibe and that's what i was trying to do with this track something different than what he did he did the first time around as far as just coming straight like right in your face the whole time you know what i mean with 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 the bars um i just thought it would be something different to, to showcase another side of big daddy king uh, LP, what are you saying? Yeah, did you rate this? Oh, sorry. No, uh, I'm gonna give this. A, I'm gonna give it a nine. Nine. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty close there too. I'm going to give this an 8.8. .8. Um, as far as microphone presence, and then in this case, subsequent uh, decimation, Big Daddy Kane <laughs> is really the superior Subsequent of the decimation. Two. Yeah, you like that? That's a great name for an album. <laughs> Subsequent decimation. That, great that, was, dope. that was dope. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll just write that down for a second. Yeah, please do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make. Come, I'm gonna make an soon. album called that. Subsequent decimation. Yeah. Okay. Um, but as far as like personal preference and lyricism and production, I think that <clears throat> Gangstar edges it out for me between this. Yeah. 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 I'm the same way. Presser, what are you yeah. saying? I like this uh, Big Daddy Kane track a lot better than the last one. Um, the last one I felt was more vanilla than this one. This one like reminded me of a West. It, it was like it kind of sparked something, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I liked it. Uh, this is a nine point two five all day. Like East Coast gangster rap. Uh, Chuck, yeah, Chuck, what are you saying? So go ahead, Presto. Finish that thought. Yeah, just 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 reminded me of West Coast. Like uh, uh, maybe it was Clarissa's comment but yeah it reminded me of something like ice cube you know right on chuck what are you saying so okay i guess i will first i'll say uh i'll, I'll give it a i'm gonna give this an eight um the uh but as far as the track itself i do think it's interesting that uh you know, so you said you wanted to to show a different side of Big Daddy Kane. Um, to me, this sounded like the same side of him, just with a different kind of beat. Um, but okay. it was the same kind of track. It was still just like, you know, a whole bunch of flex bars without, you know, much depth to them. Um, and uh, uh, the, and, uh, but, you know, it still had his, like, pretty dope display of, uh, kind of cadence switch-ups, flow changes, and whatnot. Um, but uh, there's only so much of that I can hear without getting bored. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was I was hoping to hear another side of Big Daddy Kane. This felt like the same side of him to me with a different okay. kind of beat. Um, okay. The, uh, you know, like, he, he did it well, but, um, yeah, the, uh, as far as the beat goes... That was interesting because uh, I thought the blues guitar was super dope, but I, I love blues guitar. Um, but I also don't think it actually melded with the, uh, well, too well with the, uh, with the kind of drum hits behind it. Um, I think those were just like two separate pieces that made up the beat. But the sum of the parts was not um, the the whole was not greater than the sum of the parts for the beat. Okay, okay. For me, um, so um, between the two, um, they were just different. Uh, they were just very different. Um, <laughs> the ear pick, I wish it, the, that was that that made it so much more believable. I'm, what you, 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 you did, this, you did the, the science the scientist ear pick it's like what do I say you know, so it's, 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 it's yeah. funny that uh, I'm doing that for a specific reason um, I'm uh, I'm using my Bluetooth headset tonight oh and, right uh, on okay and so I don't run out of battery I'm actually using one ear at a time and Whatever changing them off so <laughs> Yeah, um, but uh, I'm just gonna feel my brain while I say this yeah. sentence. Yeah. Um, so what are you saying? Between the two of them, uh, uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Big Daddy Kane. Um, I think I think Guru has a better pen game um, from what we heard. Um, and uh, likely has more diversity there, but I don't know that. I think I think Big Daddy Kane, as much as the two tracks kind of would be the same side of him, I think really highlighted more aspects of being an MC. Right so. on, well said. Well, sixty-seven percent say Guru, so Guru is in the final vote. All right, congrats, Bretzel. Guru is in the final vote. Presto again in the finals.
Right on, man. Uh, next one that we got, guys, <laughs> is the next battle. It is Lady Poetic. Cannabis, get off your knees. And Iggy, Evidence, Mr. Slow Flow. Let's listen to Cannabis.